So you want to know more about Freemasonry? Come in. Come in and learn a bit about our honored and ancient organization. The reason you have this tape is because a mutual friend thought that you might want to know more about Freemasonry. He's willing to answer your questions, but felt some background information would be a good idea. A question we are usually asked is, what is Freemasonry? It is a brotherhood, an organization of men from all walks of life who meet as equals and to enjoy each other's company. That is basic. Then comes a desire for self-improvement. Then community outreach as the brethren work together to meet the needs of others. Another question is, who are the Masons? In North America, there are 12,000 lodges with almost 2 million members. Worldwide, we number over 4 million. Masons are of all religions and of all social, economic, and ethnic backgrounds. Freemasonry also encompasses all age groups, in some cases, men as young as 18. Ride a bus, go to work, or attend a theater, and Masons are there. Masonic membership reflects a mosaic of society. Your bus driver or the man sitting next to you or the traffic officer you pass might be a Masonic brother. Doctors, judges, lawyers, teachers, plumbers, farmers, and assembly line workers. Name the profession and you'll find Masons. The Masonic Lodge includes good men of every profession and economic background. Membership demands are few but firm. Ask yourself this question. Do I believe in the existence of a supreme being? You might refer to him as God, Jehovah, Allah, or any other familiar name of the deity. Masonry is not a religion, but a person who wants to become a Mason must have a belief in a supreme being. His guide for living may be holy writings such as the Bible, the Torah, or the Quran. Freemasonry encourages every Mason to be active in the faith of his choice. The important thing to the Lodge is that the prospective brother realizes he is part of an ordered universe. If you can answer yes, you might want to pursue membership. Freemasonry is an organization for gentlemen. A fraternity, much like a sorority, is for women. You must be of legal age and of good moral character. The doors of Freemasonry are open to men who seek harmony with their fellow man, feel the need for self-improvement, and wish to make this world a better place. The Masonic Lodge is not intended for business networking or for advancing any particular political or religious agenda. In fact, Masonry is about fraternity, pure and simple. Just why do men join Freemasonry? Some are seeking fellowship in a world with vanishing constants. In other cases, fathers, grandfathers, and uncles have made Masonry a family tradition. Once admitted, members find participation rewarding in many ways. The ritual, called the work, has a beauty of word and motion. The three basic ceremonies or rituals of initiation into Freemasonry are called degrees. They are dignified ceremonies with no hazing or negative elements. The members can match their abilities and their available time to activities offered. No one is pushed beyond his pace. Those who accept a leadership role acquire speaking confidence and new skills. Skills are exchanged as much as they're taught. The Lodge lets men associate with other men of integrity who believe that things like honesty, love, compassion, trust, and knowledge are important. Just getting together with friendly and interesting people can be its own reward, and socializing often involves the entire family. Another reward is our philanthropic work. Masons focus as a group on specific needs, always humanitarian. If you want to know where masonry is, it's just around the corner and all over the world. Every state or province in the U.S. and Canada has a Grand Lodge, which is actually an organization of all the Masonic Lodges in that state or province. Many small towns have a Lodge. Large cities have several Masonic buildings where a number of Lodges meet. Chances are you've seen these buildings, but never ask about them. If in doubt, try the phone book under Fraternal Organizations. 
Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, South America, and all those islands that look like they're not part of any continent all have Masonic lodges, and they've had them for centuries. In fact, masonry has spread over 60 countries around the globe. Of course, being a mason does take time, which means one or two nights a month along with 24 hours a day. Those two evenings a month can extend into more time should you pursue a leadership role. As for the 24 hours a day, it figuratively means masonry is a way of life that stays with you every waking hour. So how do I become a mason? The current saying is, to be one, ask one, and you've already done that. This tape is the start, and your friend will be happy to introduce you to men with more answers. If you want to share this tape with members of your family, please do so. It's no secret. Now you should listen to the historical background of Freemasonry.